Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and it's wonderful you could stop by for today's little adventure. We're going to be continuing today with the 2009 Mac Pro that I got all the way from Bakersfield, California via Facebook Marketplace. Uh, we took a basic look at it yesterday and a couple of the funny things, the fact that yeah, it was set up with a clean install of Sierra and she didn't send the user password. But we got by that and we've, we've got the machine running. Now, today I'm just planning on doing some basic hardware upgrades designed to get the machine to be more usable as I then embark on the rather more strenuous things. Now, one of the first things, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, which I was surprised to find distributed as four two gigabyte modules, all on processor A. Oh well. Now, I have lots of RAM. I, I can't be 100% sure that it's all going to work. Uh, I have... This I'm quite sure will. I've got four 8 gigabyte modules here, and I know these got pulled out of one of my other Mac Pros when I upgraded the RAM in it. All right. Now I've got four 16 gigabyte modules, and I'll be honest, I don't know where they came from. Uh, they should work, but I guess the only way to find out is to put them in and try and see what happens. All right, so that's one. In order to create, uh, increase the connectivity a bit, we have a USB 3 PCIe card. That will go in there. And a graphics card. That 512 megabyte graphics card is not really going to cut it, particularly since I would have difficulty connecting my two monitor setup to it. I, I've got an adapter kicking around someplace to adapt DVI to a mini display port, but there'd be some looking to find out exactly where that is. So, we might as well put this in. Right down RX580. Now, this is Mac Flash, which will be important for this machine. I'm going to need the boot screen. Once we get to the point where it's, it's running on open core, that won't be as important, but it is right now. And of course, this has got DVI, dual HDMI, and dual uh, display port, full display port. So, we're going to put those things into the machine, and hopefully it will become a much more functional, happy machine. So if you're interested in seeing that happen, please stay tuned. Okay, there is no really good way of recording this. No matter how you do it, you end up blocking people. Take the hard drive out. Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte. Come on, baby. Let's go. Okay. And oh, it was already slid. That's interesting. Okay, we gotta disconnect the DVI. always a problem with these things. Getting at these mini six pins and getting the okay. Now, there we go. 
notice that you're two way. And RX580. Wrong cord on this. All right. There's one. And I know you can't see a darn thing. Two. All right. Put one in there. Put in the single eight pin. Okay, and that's it. That's it. Now, PCI card, which we're going to put in the second position. And that's it. Uh, I think I may have a slot cover. Handy here. Had one. Oh, that will get. Oh, so right here. Okay. So we can slide in the slot cover. There, that's official. There is a problem that that mini six pin to eight pin is awfully low. Okay. Put that there. Top one's in. Get a screwdriver, it's a little harder to reach around the RX 580. Okay, that is it. Okay, so our USB 3 card is in, our RX 580 is in. And now, to do the RAM, we do have to remove the CPU RAM tray, which you can't see at all now. It's not hideously difficult. I mean. out the four two gigabyte modules I'm gonna try putting in one eight gig you know I think I'm just gonna put all the eight gigs for now I want to get Two more 16s and we'll go triple channel, but for now, let's just do this. As I said, this uh, CPU tray is different than the... Uh,
and the one for the five comma one. With the four comma one, with the dual tray, Apple thought they would get better cooling on the CPUs if they went with delitted processors. Turns out they were wrong. It made no difference. So they went back to lidded processors with the 5 comma one All right. Now, let me slide that in and latch it into place. Okay. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that, that door... You know, even, even up here, it's not quite straight. It is in the back. Uh, that was the one flaw in Apple's design here. The arms and legs do bend so, it's <clears throat> so easily. Oh, well, in any event, you want to see how well this has turned out, please stay tuned. Okay, I booted the machine up, and it would only recognize one monitor. Uh, if I had the secondary monitor plugged in, everything would be there. If I had the primary monitor plugged in and not the secondary, everything would be there. Uh, and that jogged my memory. Support for the RX 580 began with Sierra 10.5. Uh, 12.6. What's installed, I believe, is 10.12.4. So it doesn't know what to do with it. So we're going to have to wait on the RX 580 until such time. This is a, this is a little, little G-Force thing. It's got uh, 2 megabytes of video RAM. It is metal supported, believe it or not. And it works pretty decently. And at least keeps the machine functioning until we can get up onto High Sierra and then put in the RX 580. Oh well, to find out if this actually worked, stay tuned. Okay then, that was uh, more of an odyssey than I was anticipating. Uh, but the ultimate result is we've got things working. I have both monitors up. You, of course, can't see that in the screen recording, but they are both available and both working fine. Uh, let's look in about this Mac. And we see we're still on our 2.293 gigahertz quad core. Well, why couldn't that just be up to five? Uh, Xeons. We have 96 gigabytes of RAM. We have our taped in SSD and yeah graphics what a, here's our problem what I discovered I knew that El Capitan did not support the RX 580 my memory was that Sierra did but what I discover in going back and, and researching it a bit Sierra did as of its last revision 10.12.6. This is 10.12.4. When I started software update, the 10.12.6 uh, update didn't come up. Maybe it will. Uh, so what I've done is to go here with this NVIDIA GeForce GT 630, which has two gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, it's my emergency card. As you saw in the previous clip, it's a very small card. It's completely bus powered. Goes in and out very, very easily. And I got it primarily for emergencies. It's metal supported, so you can use it on Mojave, Catalina, or even Big Sur for that matter. I guess I've never tried it in Big Sur. Uh, and you can get your boot screen back if you need it. So if you're using a non-flashed, non-Mac flashed RX 580, for example, you could simply go to this NVIDIA GeForce GT and suddenly you've got a boot screen and, and it's functional. All right. 
Now, we do our 96 gigabytes of RAM. It says 1066 megahertz instead of 1333. I don't know about that, those 16 gigs with the heat sinks. I know that the 8 gig modules are actually 1333. Uh, this requires the firmware update slash uh, processor upgrade. Uh, in order to recognize the speed of 1333. Uh, I'm not worried about that at all right now. Now the 96, that's actually with four 16 gig modules, two for each processor, and four 8 gig modules, two for each processor. The Mac Pros work better generally as triple channel memory. So you, it's really true, and I have I have tested this. If you leave one uh, slot empty for each processor, the one closest to the heatsink, you get better performance out of 96 gigabytes than you would out of 128 gigabytes. So I'm going to get a couple more uh, 16 gigabyte modules. And we will, in fact, do that. So we'll be staying at 96, but it should be a better performing 96. All right. So what's up for the future of this machine? There's a lot of things to do, and I've got some research to do as to the exact order in which to do them. I think the next big thing is probably the firmware update to 5,1 to 5, firmware. Do that. Then you're able to upgrade the processors. And I believe you have to do that firmware update before you do the processor upgrade. Uh, I may be wrong on that. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and, and check that to be sure. Uh, so I think, basically, I can do the 5.1 firmware upgrade. Then go ahead and install High Sierra at that point. That should be fine. Uh, And then, well, we could probably just install Mojave, get the uh, PCIe NVMe drive in there to be the boot drive, uh, and then do the processor upgrade at that point. Well, I don't really know. I have research to do. But anyway, there's three, maybe four more videos on this machine specifically. Uh, there's a number of uh, G4 things that I've got in mind coming up and you have no idea what else might be lurking in the back of my mind. Be good to other people. They need it and deserve it. Be good to yourselves. We cannot make this world a better place if we are not good to ourselves to begin with. It's not a better place, sadly, so please take very, very good and careful care in these difficult times. Uh, when all of those things that I was mentioning are up and available on the channel, we'll be back. Until that time, this has been... Broken Electronics.